All right, guys, welcome to the battle tested test bench, workbench. It is almost 2022, a couple days away, and I'm excited because we're getting really close on this Fresnel lens. And if you haven't noticed, um, we have, oh, I forgot the lens, it's upstairs. What's okay, we'll assemble this, see how it does. We just pulled it off the printer and we'll see how it fits. Uh, a couple of things I measured wrong from the last print, which I didn't realize. So we'll see how this goes. But uh, for this guy, we had a little bit of a um, wrong measurement for the Bowens mount little uh, nubs that hold on, hold on to the light and the way the, uh, the length of the collar so that it fits into the, the bones mount there. So I tweaked those and I probably should have done actual measuring, but I just kind of eyeballed it on this one because I was in a hurry and that's what you do. So we're cleaning all the supports off this guy. And this is the third uh, version, I believe, of this, of this print. The uh, first one was the blue one, which we saw on Instagram probably, or YouTube, I can't remember. I'm, I'm trying to do, I don't know, I'm trying to keep up with all the social medias and what's, what's a good place to post things when and where and what I happen to have just, you know, with me, open, whatever, trying to get, get the idea out there. Um, but I, we're, we're going to try and do a lot more on YouTube and pick that back up this year because it's, I really enjoy YouTube. It's, it's what I feel like is one of the best. I enjoy spending time on it, learning new things, looking at what creators are doing. And that's actually something we're talking about very soon is we are looking for some serious partners and shooters and whatnot. We'll talk about that. Uh, I'm just pulling all the supports off. I've got some some vertical supports on the inside for some of the inset screws and whatnot. It's kind of hard to see. Um, this is the first time we're doing this test bench, so we will improve as we go. Probably get another camera in here so we can actually see what I'm doing. The black filament doesn't help either, but it's a this is the this is black PETG, so it's got some good heat resistance to it, and it's pretty flexible and strong. We got three layers, solid layers. Uh, walls and then uh, I think 15% infill, which has been a pretty good standard. So there's our mount. We'll wait to put it on the light till after we get the other piece cleared up here, cleaned up. So. Okay, so yet yeah, last time I did have the ridges, I did have the, the channels, but they were too tight. And so oh, there we go, that's a nice fit. That has a nice little, um, it's, it's tight, but it's not too tight to where last time we were having to really push it to get to have it, uh, the mechanism work. And I, I put the set screw on the wrong side, I put it on the back. So it was gonna be constantly locked into our flood position. But now we have a nice, um, we have a nice uh, movement. I might make the whole ring just maybe a half millimeter smaller, just so it's a little bit tighter. And uh, then we'll, you know, figure out some kind of finish for this. Maybe we won't, but I don't love the, the Velcro sound or the corduroy sound. All right, so I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, we'll have to get some hardware for the set screw. But moment of truth, let's see how it fits. First moment of truth, because then we also got to put the lens back on there. Uh, we have the 120D with the Bowens mount. Last time, like I said, I screwed up the Bowens mount. So let's try and see how it, how it does when we lock it in. Is it going to fit? Ah, yes, it does. Perfect. So the Bowens mount fits on there nice. There's no slippage. As tight as you get on a Bowens mount. Um, we have our collar and our lens ready to go. Uh, I need to go get the lens. Okay, we're back. So here is the one of the first versions. You uh, saw this on YouTube, maybe, or Instagram. This is the first Fresnel lens, and Ryan took and retooled it, improved it. We have some more better light projection and, and um, finishes on it. So this should give us better projection. And we will see now the proper moment of truth if I measured this correctly so it will sit in there. Oh, it looks like it did. I just need to make that channel a little bit deeper so that we have 
uh, some more coverage of that. But that's, for all intents and purposes, that's gonna work for this demo. We're still looking for uh, the correct resin for heat because especially with no heat ventilation in the lens itself, it's gonna build up and this lens gets a little soft after some time under use. Okay, let's see how this sucker works now. 120D with the battle-tested Fresnel lens, let's see how it works. Okay, there's 10%. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. Here's our flood. Here's our spot. Flood, spot. Now let me drop this down in intensity so that we actually can see a little more of the subtle nuance. You get a lot more out of it, you can see. This lens definitely needs some help though. Cause she's starting to form on us. Uh, okay, so there it is, full flood. Oops, full flood, I'm gonna lock it into place. Okay, yeah, you can totally see the aberrations on that lens. Okay, spot, there we go. So if I, if I, if I kind of cover the, the <coughs> problem spot, it helps on the lens, but you can see now. Spot, flood, spot, flood. Okay, here we go. It's definitely warped some from the heat and being in my, my bag for the last couple weeks. Yeah, so if I'm just gonna, I'm trying to, trying to push the lens so it's, it's, it's straight. But yeah, there's your spot, there's your flood, and here is, whoops, totally clean. So, that is interesting. Okay, so that is the um, really close, I feel like, Bowens Fresnel adapter from uh, Battle Tested. We have some work to do on the lens, a couple more things to refine on the barrel. I might want to extend it a little bit so we have a little more spot control out of it. Otherwise, I'm quite excited and this guy should be almost ready to go up on the store. Uh, if you have any thoughts, comments, or anything on a wish list, please comment below, let us know. Um, we're just here to have fun, make awesome art, and help uh, share our tools with you guys. So we just want to be able to hear from you and help out as best we can. Um, uh, the idea would be to price this guy as obviously as effective as possible as with all of our tools because we're just here to tell stories and have the tools get out of the way. But I wanted to put this together because there's so many of these bow and mounts out there and there's only so much you can do with just the one reflector. Um, we'll also be throwing some barn doors on here and uh, it's going to be, I think this is going to be a great addition to the tool set. Thanks for watching and uh, Happy New Year.